the follow. Appreciate the follow. It's to both of you guys that just followed me. Uh, let me. D's and Ibritris. Wait, how is he an attack, but he has low offensive rating? Um, the damage that he does is attack based. Like Pokemon are kind of broken down into two different categories: either physical attack or special attack. He does physical attack damage, but most of his moves go towards like you know defensive means. Like most of his moves lend itself towards being more so defensive. But any damage he does is uh, is based on physical damage. So I got you up there. Uh, wait, how is he in a tank? Yeah. So, 33. The base damage is 33. Plus 33. That would be 108 if I can max that out. Now, attack speed might be a good thing, but I, I don't want to lose... Uh, I'm going to put muscle band on him because they're giving me attack speed, which I probably need. Scrap buddy barrier. I don't... You know what? Just for this, because I am testing it, I'm gonna put a uh, score shield on him. But then again, hold up. Don't have anything else. Full offense. Razor claw might work good. I mean, that's just additional. But I might do better with. Let's see. I mean, Rapid Fire Scarf, yeah, but I don't really need to attack fast with him. Like that. I'm trying to see what I can. Energy Amplifier, would that do good? I wonder if Energy Amplifier would. In theory, it might do good doing a 21% more damage, but it's not really going. You know what I mean? Either Drain Crown or Muscle. I use Drain Crown already. Drain Crown don't really give me... You know what I'm saying? Drain Crown don't really give me everything that I really want. And I already got Muscle Band on him already. I'll probably go back with Weakness Policy. Because he needs that health. He needs that health. I don't know. I might do Drain Crown. But you can't really tell the healing that he gets from that now, I'd much rather get a hit knowing that I can hit back harder the float stone might work good because it's higher base damage it's not going to lend itself to nothing else but I'm going to put weakness policy on him just to stop myself you know what because his healing is really good He's healing. Um, yeah. If I ever find myself using Wish, then I would probably use Rescue Hood for that. Um, which probably would be... Matter of fact, this would be the time to check it out. This would actually be the time to check it out. I want to see how good this actually works. Because I have no faith in Wish as it is. Like, I'm not picking Wish over Snarl in an actual match, but, but like, we just running tests right now, so let's see how good this works in an actual test. Is it better to play with a remote control? I mean, like, for me it is. Like I'm using a controller, so, like, it's, for me it's better with a controller. Other people might feel better playing with, like, you know, on their phone or something. But yeah, I um yeah, like I I use a controller on my computer to play this. But I really want to see how good this is going to work. Cuz I think the emblem page is solid. Like his emblem page, I think we can agree is solid. I can make it better, but I think what I got on it is pretty good. I play on my phone and I have a switch played it like uh switch played it like that, but my hands are full asleep. <laughs> yeah. But um 
Umbreon's attack emblem page that I made because I got a defensive page for him and an attack page. His attack emblem page is good. Honestly, I based on what his attributes are and you know everything else. I don't know. I don't know. We're gonna try to get him. We're gonna try to get him. Can we get him? Can we get him? There we go. Alright, let's try. Alright. So I'm gonna pick Wish. We're gonna use Wish and see how good Wish is. So it's gonna be Wish and uh Wish and File Play. We got Attack Weight. Muscle Band and Rescue Hood to help out with Wish. Um, we got X Speed. No, the emblems are like their own separate thing. The emblems are kind of like their own separate entity like what they do is that they help raise the base stats of the pokemon up um and each of the emblems have a, a negative and a positive to them like they got a positive stat and they got a negative stat the goal is to balance out the negative stats that you don't need and to add to add positive stats that you do need any open spots um what you mean oh um I'm not playing rank just yet. After this, I'm gonna play rank, and uh, everybody can join join in. Right now, I'm just testing out his attack abilities. He's doing a pretty good amount of damage. Damage ain't bad. I'm going against no Snorlax. So. I'm not going to really know how. I'm... Yeah, like his Swift is actually good. It marks him and it gives him bonus, uh, bonus damage. Society slabs, I got you after this match. Hold on. I'm gonna put your name up there. So far, the damage ain't bad. Like, the damage is not bad so far. Fucking healing. Hey, I don't know if you've seen that healing that it did on a on a Cramorant. That's damn near a full bar of health. I'm really not gonna know how good it is until I go against like a. Oh, that, that healing is ridiculous. Yeah, 
Yeah, the damage on this is not bad. Oh, he can use it. Damn! Hey, bro, that wish is ridiculous. He can even use it on himself when he's close by. Like, if he just by himself, he can use wish on himself. Bro, that's nasty. That's a nice little chunk of healing. And then it's kind of spammable too. I still kind of prefer Snarl over that, but that's not bad. Bro, that's actually not bad. Say if you build them right, you can get some. The damage that he's doing is not bad at all. He actually does quite a lot if you if if you can max out that uh that attack weight. I can't see people playing him as a support role though. damn near a, f a full chunk of health. That's nasty. But I think we can figure something out. But I think we can figure out a way how to make him offensive. I'm in the thick of the fight and they still can't kill me. Damn. Bro, I think we didn't figure something. I literally think we didn't figure out how to make him offensive. I still kind of prefer him being a tank, but I think we figured out how to make him offensive. 
And that wish actually works better than what I thought it would. You know what? That would have been a perfect time for me to hold on to my Unite move and use it as soon as they got Rayquaza. Someone, someone shows it and is using potion and red band. <laughs> potion and red band. Nah, I'm not using potion on no Umbreon. Umbreon don't need potion. He got his own potion. I mean, I guess if you want to do double healing on him, but that's kind of like a waste because you can use something. You can use it for something else. So for a nice little chunk. Yeah, this is not bad. This offensive page is not bad at all. But it'll be much better. Like, Snarl works better, like I said. That's just... It's crowd control. Like, you can't go wrong with crowd control. Snarl is just ten times better. Oh, we still won that? Oh, shit. So how much damage did I do? Damn! Bro, that's almost 100,000 damage. Bro, I almost literally did a hundred thousand damage. I tanked a good bit of uh, damn, this. This Blissey didn't do shit, but I I tanked damn near I tanked damn near a hundred thousand. I recovered fifty eight thousand, and I damn near did a hundred thousand damage. That's crazy. And you weren't even level 15. I don't even know what level I was. I just know I was wrecking shit. So that's... Alright, so... Looking at Umbreon. We actually got a good offensive and defensive page. Hold on, let me get these emblems. So looking at Umbreon, okay, we got to go back to the emblem page. This is his attack page, right? In my opinion, this is as good as I'm going to get it until I get like better emblems. Until the emblems, all the emblems are actually gold, like I get a gold golem, a gold Marowak, and a gold uh, Ho-Oh, then this is, this is it. In my opinion, there's no way you can really make this better. Or I wouldn't try to adjust this at any way if you can afford to. Um, he's different, but his defense page is where it shines. Hands down. I run with, with Umbreon, but it works. It works, but I'm not sure it will fly in rank. It probably won't fly in rank because it. Mind you, I was I was just running. Uh, I was running in standard. This could actually. It can work, but it's two things you have to bank on. You have to get your stacks from the attack weight. That's the first thing. And you need to make sure that you have some teammates that, you know what I'm saying, can actually help you get those stacks. Um, I can see it being a good counter to Squishies because his natural health is already high. 
like but before you add on the the emblems and the held items his natural health is already up there like he has high endurance so you ain't really got to do much in that department the challenge is, is if you're going to use him offensively I would run with this I would literally run with this because muscle band gives you speed it gives you attack and it gives you bonus damage based on the HP remaining so that's the best thing for him if you're going to use foul play and on top of that foul play kind of works like if the target's attack is high it's going to do high damage so it literally works against squishy people like Cinderace I mean not people but Pokemon like Cinderace Glaceon um you know any of them hold on one second maxed out and um you going up against squishy people what you gonna play now rank or standard uh I'm, I'm going back in the ring I'm going back in the ring and um we're gonna switch this back out Defense is definitely where to go. His offense page that I make for him, with him, I'm gonna try to like uh, try to tinker it here and there. But the way it is right now is good, but it's only good against squishies. It's not good against like you know everybody. Like they have to have high attack. So in certain situations, foul play can be its own worst enemy. But outside of that, if you're going against a very squishy team like Cinderace, high attack, now any type of glass cannon then that foul play is definitely the way to the way to go. 